Hello, Pastor Nathan of Grace Lutheran Church here with the readings for the second Sunday of Advent, which will land on December 8th, 2024. The first reading for the second Sunday of Advent is from Malachi chapter 3. See, I'm sending my messenger to, to prepare the way before me, and Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple. The messenger of the covenant in whom you delight, indeed he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who can endure the day of his coming? Who can stand when he appears? For he is like ref a refiner's fire and like fuller's soap. He'll sit as a refiner and purifier of silver, and he will purify the descendants of Levi and refine them like gold and silver until they present offerings to the Lord in righteousness. Then the offering of Judah and Jerusalem will be pleasing to the Lord as in the days of old and as in former years. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the psalm for this second Sunday of Advent is, for some reason, out of Luke, <laughs> chapter 1, verses 68 to 71. This is Luke chapter 1. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of Israel. You have come to your people and set them free. You have raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. Through your holy prophets, you promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us, to show mercy to our forebears, and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous before you all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to, to prepare the way, to give God's people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Luke chapter 1. And the second reading for this second Sunday of Advent is from Philippians chapter 1, verses 3 to 11. Yeah, I thank, I thank my God every time I remember you, constantly praying with joy in every one of my prayers for all of you because of your sharing in the gospel from this day until now. I'm confident of this, that, that the one who began a good work among you will bring it to completion by the day of Jesus Christ. It's right for me to think this way about all of you, because you hold me in your heart, for all of you share in God's grace with me, both in my imprisonment and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel. For God is my witness, how I for God is my witness how, how I long for all of you with the compassion of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may overflow more and more with knowledge and full insight to help you determine what is best so that in the day of Christ you may be pure and blameless, having produced the harvest of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ for the glory and praise of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the gospel for the second Sunday of Advent is out of Luke chapter 3 verses 1 to 6. This is the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the 15th year of the reign of Emperor Tiberius, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea and Herod was ruler of Galilee, and his brother Philip, the ruler of the region of Ituria and uh, Traconius, and Lysanias, ruler of Abilene, during the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of the God came to John, the son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. He went into all the, the region around Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah, the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley, valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways made smooth, 
and all flesh shall all flesh shall see the salvation of God. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. <laughs>